There is no such thing as a perfect app for note taking. One might do stuff that the other lacks and the other might be better in ways that the first one is not. So the idea here is to find the one that best matches your needs and go from there. Whoa, that almost looked like a YouTube ad. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Afsha and I am back with another video on the best note-taking app for iPad. Now I say iPad because iPad is the tablet that I have been using for taking notes ever since I discovered the science of taking notes and getting rid of paper. We have two competitors over here, Notability and Evernote. Now Notability is my go-to app and I don't want to sound biased over here but honestly this is the one that I have been using ever since I discovered the art of taking notes digitally. So like I mentioned Evernote is the one that I have been using to take notes, record lectures, annotate into notes, take notes from the books, take notes from the lectures, all that good jazz. On the other hand, Evernote is the kind of app that I use mostly for planning my YouTube videos or sometimes also for taking notes if I'm not using my iPad. And I'll tell you why is that so in a second. So let's count the pros for these apps. Talking about notability on one hand, the pens and highlighter feature in the Notability app is absolutely amazing. So they have different thicknesses of the pens. They have a ballpoint, which writes exactly like a ballpoint. And then there is a pressure sensitive pen for people who love drawing and making sketches or stuff like that. Point number two, there are very nice and clean dividers in Notability. So as you can see over here, the notes are not all over the place. I have categorized my notes in different dividers like uh, notes for Netflix, YouTube and all that stuff and then I have my desired notes in these dividers and my notes are not just flying all over the app and I don't have to spend like minutes and minutes trying to find one note in the app. So let's say I'm studying and I have to find the note for my notes for uh, seizure and epilepsy. So I don't have to search the entire app for that. I just go into my Netflix folder and find out the seizure and epilepsy note right there. And find out the seizure and epilepsy note file right there in front of me. Number third point is scrolling. The scrolling feature in the Notability app is absolutely amazing. It's smooth, it's, it's convenient. So as you can see over here, the scrolling through the pages is super clean. The bottom of one connects to the bottom of another and the whole note flows in front of your eyes like a PDF. Coming to number four, so this is a feature that most people don't bring into attention very much and I have my friends who use this app and they didn't even know about it it's adding the gifts feature. So I find this feature extremely useful as you can add any gift that you want and in my view it's a very good way to memorize stuff. So these were the points for the Notability app. Let's look at the Evernote competitor on the other side. The super important point in the Evernote app is the search function. The search function is so, so, so powerful in the Evernote app. So let's say I typed in overactive in my Evernote search bar. And now what it's going to do is not only is going to search the title of my notes, which in this case is overactive bladder, but it's also going to search the wordings that I have put inside the note for the word that I'm searching for. So let's try another example and I type in prodome. So prodome period is a period in which in migraine in which people know that the migraine is coming. It's like an aura, aura kind of thing in which the patients of migraine know that it's going to come. And as soon as I type in prodome and hit enter, it's immediately, gonna, it's immediately gonna search all my note files and since I do not have Prodome as a title of any of my notes, it's going to pop up my migraine notes and highlight where it says Prodome. This feature is extremely, extremely important when you have tons and tons of notes and you do not remember the title of every single note. So whatever comes to your mind when you think of migraine or maybe overactive bladder or let's say I'm searching for contraception, whatever thought first comes to my mind in terms of any topic. I write it down in the search bar and it's immediately going to search that topic and bring it in front of me. Super powerful. Second, the most life-saving feature of Evernote is that the notes are available offline and I do not have to wait for a Wi-Fi connection 
whenever I'm on the go in the car to search for my notes or read or learn anything. Now creating a notebook in Evernote is so 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 special. It's even more special than Notability. Now I'm not saying that Notability is not clean and everything because I just explained how clean the dividers are and how all my notes are in place. But in Evernote you can create a notebook, create sections within that notebook and then color code each section. Wow. Now, as you can see, I have different sections of the notebook and I have notebooks named and I have notebooks named YouTube and Netflix right there in the Evernote app. So these were a few points that make this app very useful. In personally, I am more of a notability user and because I have been using that app on my iPad and I haven't actually used Evernote on my iPad because I have a Windows laptop and I only tend to use it for note taking when my iPad is not charged. Yes, so that's just one of the reasons that I do not use Evernote as much as I use Notability. But all in all, both are really good apps and they provide, they are extremely user friendly and very 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 simple and they have a very simple layout there is no such thing as an app made just for you i mean it all depends on your needs all these companies advertise it this is the app and you should be using this one and this is your this should be a to-go system for taking notes and everything but honestly it just depends on your need again if this video provided you any value don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel and if there are any other apps that i do not know about and you find them more useful than notability and Evernote please don't forget to leave a comment down below and if there are any other questions feel free to DM me on my Instagram account which is Cram, and I would be more than 